You know, New Testament prophets and Old Testament prophets, well, they're different. There's some similarities, there's some crossover, but I tell you the primary, now there are many more than one function of a New Testament prophet, but the primary function of a New Testament prophet is found in Ephesians 4 and 11. The Bible says he gave some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors, some teachers for the equipping of the saints for the work of the ministry. What is the work of the ministry in your life? It's whatever you are called to do. So the prophet would primarily help you as a believer learn to hear the voice of God for yourself. Jesus said, my sheep know my voice and the voice of another they will not follow. But the Bible also says there are many voices, many sounds, many voices in the spirit and none without signification. And so we know there are many, many, many spirits teaching, talking, suggesting, uh, trying to lead you and guide you, but we must learn to fine tune our ear to the voice of God. So the primary function of the New Testament prophet is to equip you to hear the Lord, to put in you a hunger for prayer, to inspire you to spend that time with the Lord that it takes so that you can tune your ear to His voice. Spend time around prophetic people and you will get that hunger. They will impart to you that grace to press in and hear for yourself. Don't get dependent on prophets, get dependent on God. He wants to speak to you directly. There's nothing wrong with getting a prophetic word from, from a prophet, a personal prophecy, that's awesome. But you should be around prophets who want you to hear for yourself and challenge you to do so because that is the primary function of a New Testament prophet.